time. Okay, thank you. It is your first time. So, yeah, thank you for responding. So, yeah, so to start from the beginning, so BLAST has started in San Francisco in 2021, so like in June. So it's been two years and a half since we have started. And so we are a team of two, so two co-founders right now, right now, and I am the one of them. And so we are providing so social web highlighting tool. So I can show quick show a demo quickly. Can I use my screen? I think I'm showing it. We okay. can see it here. Oh, thank you. Okay. For, okay. So yeah, thank you. And so, you know, Glass is a social web highlighting tool. So that lets people highlight web articles and so organize them on their profile page. Also share their profile page with others to learn together. So this is my profile page on Glass. So you can see, so my highlighted articles. So I highlighted some articles and it's automatically accumulated on my profile page. So anytime you can share and look back at, so look back no, at what you have highlighted before. And so the way to use is pretty simple. Once you install the Chrome extension, then so it's gonna be like this. So uh, yeah, the icon of glass is shown on the toolbar. Then when you are reading the article and when you find good sentence you want to you know, memorize, you can select the sentence like this. Then so you can click one of the you know, colors on the pop-up. Then it's gonna be saved on the sidebar. Also, automatically it's gonna be saved on your profile page. And so you can of course you know, search for so the past highlights. And so you can share your highlights with others. So for example, if I go to other people's profile page, if it takes time. Yeah, this is Kazuki, the co-founder of Blast, and he is based in San Francisco now. So I can see what he is reading and which part of the sentence on the article he has like you know resonated with. So this is a basic idea of Blast. So basically you are like highlighting, so like, curating the important sentence of the article, then so it's gonna be saved on the Blast profile page and you can share or see other people's profile page to learn together. And no, not sure if this is in charge of like assign in, in the part of the assignment, but we have other product for the YouTube summary, which is summarizing the YouTube video. If you install the you know blast Chrome extension and so you can click so this sidebar and it automatically generates all the transcript of the YouTube video. So even if you don't watch the YouTube video, you can see and read all the transcript in the text. Also, if you click so this view AI summary button at the top, so you can get the summary, so summary of the video from you know, ChatGPT. So this is a pretty you know basic of our product. So yeah, you can use for so, for liking or like creating a new video from others or learning from YouTube video. So it's a pretty simple product. And so maybe so I'm going to you know okay so yeah I'm. I you know started you know introducing my glass in you know, a profile page, but so I'm a co-founder of Glass. And Glass is a startup company based in San Francisco. Uh, as I mentioned, we are developing a social web highlighter tool. And you can tell from my background that I'm based in Tokyo, Japan right now, but I used to live in the United States for six years after I graduated university in Japan. And so yeah, again, so two years and a half, so we have started Glass. <laughs> And so this is just the beginning of glass. So you can imagine that so we are based in so small room in you know in Silicon Valley and so we overnight so we are talking how we you know want to make glass and you know what is our vision. So yeah, we low time our thoughts on the fight for and discuss. And so this is our missions and you know problems we are solving. So once people die, so no one can access so their knowledge anymore. You know, 
I'm talking a lot of my experience, so you can talk a lot of experience and learnings and knowledge. So, but so people usually don't share their knowledge. Also, people usually don't share their learnings with others. So once people die, so no one can access their knowledge anymore because it's usually stored in our brains. So once people die, so no one can access knowledge. And we thought this is a huge loss for human society because we really, we have like you know eight billion people in the world, but in one century, so almost all of, all of us will have died, and so our knowledge will be lost as well. And so also so there are a lot of people existed before us, also we cannot access the knowledge anymore. So that's why we need the plus so to like you know social level highlighting too. When you when they are reading so something or learning something, they can capture and automatically share in the public so that other people can learn from it. And I showed the demo and so this is our you know situation right now. So overall, so we have more than 350,000 users globally, and we have almost 7 million unique annotation data and 256 monthly retention rate. Also, this is Richard Sally, and Richard Sally has reached 1 million installs, and we got featured in many media, such as you know, Economic Times, Microsoft News, Yahoo Japan, so PC Gamers, a lot of media. And eventually, we like to make digital exam based on the highlights. So this, is, I don't think you can hear the demo, I mean the audio in this video. But what it is like, you know, it's kind of deep fake. So we are, you know, putting the, the text data into, you know, Elon Musk's digital clone and let his digital clone speak something that we want. Yeah, eventually we are going, yeah, we are going to make this chart one based on the highlights data. So if you ask you know, some people on class, so their AI can answer your question. And so yeah, the future with this chart points, you can learn from business leaders, soft readers, so interact with dead people, also open source your knowledge. Okay. Yeah, so also the one good quote from Dalai Lama is share your knowledge, it's a way to achieve immortality. So once you share knowledge on glass, it's gonna be stored forever. And so you know, even if you are dead, so other people can ask you, and so you can achieve immortality by you know, through glass. And I think that's a you know, pretty brief uh, introduction of glass. So if you have any questions, so please let me know. Can you scroll Hi. down a bit? So I think in the chat they are struggling to hear you a bit. Oh really? Yeah, so maybe you could like slow down. Thank you. I think but that's all so yeah, if you want to repeat something, so some part, so I can do that. But I mean I think so let me ask you again. So so can you share my part about like the product demo of Blast? Do you know what okay. Blast does? Okay, yeah, let me do it this one. So you can highlight so the pages. Did you understand this? Hi guys, do you guys hear his question? So do you, do you did you get his demo? Do you understand what Glabs does? Do you understand what Glab what Glabs is? Sorry. So okay, so someone said no. they don't really understand it. So maybe just go about that a bit slower. Just talk okay. about the demo. Talk about Glabs a bit slower. Yes. And and I don't I know if you to, could yeah. um, maybe go away from or come closer to your mic or something because. We are getting a bit of a muffled sound when you start to talk about it. Okay. Okay. I'm getting close to the PC. All right. Also. I'm changing my mic. Okay. 
Do you think you can hear me better or well? Perfect. I think this call. works. Yes, this works well. Thank oh, you so much. Better. Ah, I should have chosen this. So, okay, thank you. So, I'm going to talk again. So, yeah, so. Can you see my screen? Oh yeah, you can see. Okay, thank you. And so if you have any questions, so please let me know anytime. So yeah, so Grasp, so I'm a co-founder of Grasp and Grasp is a startup company based in San Francisco. And we are developing social web highlighter and digital drone. And so this, I'm based in Tokyo, Japan right now, but before that, I was you know, living in the United States for six years. And I studied at business, you know, business and marketing at University of Washington in Seattle, also got a master's degree in computer science before. And so, you know, as I mentioned, Glassface is a you know, startup company in the Silicon Valley. So this is our, you know, first office in san francisco you can see that you know it's a small office in silicon valley and so overnight so we are discussing how you know our mission what we want to make so and we wrote down our thought on on the whiteboard so like this so this is our start and so glass phase started with one question so once people die no one can access their knowledge anymore you know you know we have learned so many things, we have experienced so, so many things, but so once people die, so no one can access their knowledge anymore because people usually store their knowledge in their brains. And once people die, so it's over, so no one can access anymore. So that's why we want to make class fun. And it's a huge loss for human society because we have 8 billion people in the world right now, but in one century, so almost all of, all of us will have died. And so no, our knowledge, our experience will be lost and it's a loss for human society. That's why we would like to make the GLASP. And this is a product demo of GLASP. Uh, it's called Social Web Highlighter. So that lets people highlight with contents such as text, PDF and YouTube video, organize them on their profile page, also share their profile page with others to learn together. Once you install Glass Clone extension, so you can so highlight so the web page like this, and it's gonna be so shown on the side of her. Also, it's shown your profile page on Glass. So yeah, this is you know what I highlighted before. And so this is your repository. So you can this is your profile page. So you can see all the highlights you made before. And you can search, so you can tag. Also, you can see the connections between knowledge as well. Then so this is a social web highlighting tool. What it is, so you can see other people's highlights. So this is co-founder of you know Kazuki, the co-founder of Grasp. And so I can see what he is reading. So yeah, he has read this so article and he highlighted and he made this comment. Basically, so you can see as a, you know, all the people's highlights. And so learn from other people as well. And so this is our second product or YouTube summary with ChatGPT, what it is, is like when you install Glass Chrome extension, you can get this kind of like element on the top flight. Then once you click the button at the top flight, you can get the, all the transcript of the YouTube video. So even before you are watching, even before you watch this video, so you can see and read all the you know, text of this video. And if you click this view AI summary button, 
you can see the summary of this video in a few seconds. And so, so far, so Glassflow is doing well. So we have so 350,000 users overall, um, so almost 7 million unique annotation data, so highlights, and 25% six months retention rate. Also, YouTube family has reached 1 million installs so far, and we got featured in so many medias, so like Economic Times, Microsoft News, so Yahoo Japan, so PC Gamer, and more. And eventually, we'd like to make digital clone. So what it is, like, so based on the highlights you made, so you can make your AI. So, and once, you know, AI learns your learning data, so you can talk to AI so like this. So right now we have a text version of digital clone. I can ask my AI, so for example, What is AI? My AI can answer my question based on the highlights. AI or artificial intelligence refers to machine learning uh, machines. So this is so generated based on my highlights. So like these highlights. <laughs> And eventually it will be so digital clone, so which is so you can talk to so like you know, you can talk to Elon Musk or talk to my AI, so talk to other people's AI. And once so we launched the digital clone, so you can learn from business leaders and so talk to leaders, and so you can interact with dead people, also you can open source your knowledge and so you can achieve immortality. We'll share this, you know, good quote. So at the end, so share your knowledge. It's a way to achieve immortality. So once you share your knowledge with others, and it, it, if it's you know, like stored online, so even if you are dead, so other people can talk to you, talk, you know, access, and that's how you can achieve immortality. And this is what we'd like to achieve with class. Thank you for yeah, listening to my presentation. So if you have any questions in this session or like on online, Twitter or LinkedIn, so you can talk to me or ask me anything. Oh yeah, thank you for the comment. So yeah, it's a knowledge, so product, knowledge management, also AI. And I think it's good for your like technical writing because when you are writing about so techniques or documents, you need to refer something online. So, and when you are researching something, so you can just highlight and keep the important information on the article. And when you start writing that draft, so you can refer to graph and so see highlights and copy and paste all the you know important information on Google Doc or Word Doc, and you can start writing. Oh, it's all free, so right now. So. Thank you for asking. Okay, okay. So I think oh, yes. there are other couple of yeah. questions for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think they're asking them again. So maybe um mm -hmm. Prince, are you on the call? So you read out the questions you have and then K responds to the questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first of all, oh, let me check questions. The first question. So yeah, pricing. So it's free product. So yeah, it's it's totally free right now. And are you able to interact with others users clone or just your own? So you can talk interact with other users clone. So for example, I can go to Pavki's profile and I can click ask clone of him. Then so this is Pavki's digital clone. I can ask the same question. For example. Let me see. So, based is, on is the key highlights, free? it's free. 
So his answer is AI is application of mathematics and a software called to teach computers how to understand synthesize. So this, you know, create, you know, this answer, but I can check my answer as well. So it's totally different. So yeah, to answer your question, so it's totally, uh, I mean, so you can, you know, interact with other people's digital clone, so and it's all public. You can just open source your digital clone and let others ask your digital clone. Yeah, if you, you know, go to my profile page, so you can ask my AI. So ask your clone or ask K's clone, it's shown. Oh, okay, and is the extension available on Microsoft Edge? So it's, yeah, you can access it on Microsoft Edge. And actually I'm using, so on Microsoft Edge, Yeah, if I open on Microsoft Edge, so I can select a sentence and it takes time because it's loading. <laughs> you can see, so you can highlight on Microsoft Edge as well. And also this is my Japanese in a version of Blast, but so yeah, you can do it any, in any languages. Yeah, this is, yeah. You can access it on Microsoft Edge as well. Yeah, I can definitely see the usefulness of class in uh, in day to day. Yeah, technical lighting class. Yeah, thank you for the you know, great comment. I think I've answered all the questions. So if you have any other questions, please let me know. So on this message or so you can ask me on Twitter, LinkedIn, if you'd like. So I think I'm gonna, you know, bring this mic to, so Brent, you know. Okay. Stop presenting. Okay, so thank you so yeah, much. I think thank that's, you so much. Yeah. yeah, yeah, thank you. Thanks for the opportunity, yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you for class. Yeah, thanks for joining. Okay, so yeah. Do we have any other questions for Kay? If you can, you can raise your hand, you'll be given the opportunity to speak. Mm -hmm. But then, as he also said, you can always reach out to him on Twitter and on LinkedIn if you have any question or if you encounter any problems while you were using the tool to work and highlight and do anything. That would also help them very, very much. And so um um Kay, I think Glaps is open source as well. So can you share the the link to Glaps, maybe the GitHub or the website link as well, so you can have us interact yep. with Glaps. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so those are useful story. links. Yeah, go yeah. on, you can go on. Glass. So once you install Glass for extension, you can use YouTube summary as well. So yeah, please use it. I think that's it. So I share, yeah, I shared my you know Twitter link, LinkedIn link, and Glass link. So you can open it. And so you, you can ask me on Twitter, so on LinkedIn. But so if you send me a connection request on LinkedIn. To please add uh, like some one, one sentence message because I usually don't want to add some spammy account. Okay. Cool. And so, do you have any other questions? Okay. Toba, you can speak. Yeah, Toba. Yeah, I think we can go ahead. Thank you, Kay. Um, because I, as we were talking and um, I saw the links I checked, and I think I was able to view uh, Kasuki's uh, profile. Um, mm -hmm. I think Glass is a very, very great product. Um, especially, I, I like the clone parts, the AI parts, where you can ask the uh, the knowledge base. Because the cloning, uh, to my understanding, is just the knowledge base of that person. So mm -hmm. being able to ask that knowledge this question, so uh, which is very great. That, that. So the question I want to ask is, 
uh, since GLASP is solving the problem of immortality, you know, num uh, knowledge remains yeah. something dead. So then what's the plan for GLASP to be online forever? Um, because if we are solving the problem of immortality, then GLASP has to be online forever. So um, yeah, I know I know there are products that have existed for 50 years, 70 years. So what's the plan for GLASP? <laughs> the next 500 years <laughs> you know mm. so that's, that's just a like very what. difficult yeah but yeah as long as the internet is existing so we can keep grasp forever but so um so this is just like you know web 2 product so right now but eventually we can have so web 3 the so blockchain so to so put their knowledge so on the blockchain so that it lasts forever but you know, as you mentioned, so if the internet is over, so it's over as well. So we need to cultivate the stones or something. Yeah. But so yeah, as long as the internet is here, so we can you can keep so your knowledge forever. I think you are on mute, but if you have any additional questions. Okay, thank you. Thank you for asking. Um, so, if you, you guys have any other questions, do we have any more questions? Ikechuku, are you unmuting your mic to speak? Ikechuku, John. If you're trying to speak, we can't hear you. Okay, you have muted your mic. Okay, so any other questions for Kay? And then just just to have a consensus, like aside we're hearing about it now, has anybody aside those that participated in court too, of course. In fact, as have you ever worked with glass before? Or if this, this is your first time working or hearing about glass, you can just react or send a message. Is this your first time hearing about glass or you've worked with it before? Yeah, this is my first time I'm actually. Okay. Okay, so just to keep in mind, we will be working with GLASS for this cohort. Like I was trying to, to say earlier, we have an upcoming contest with GLASS, and the winner of the contest will be going home with $100 Amazon gift card. This, I'm, I'm, I was going to say a, an inside joke for Nigerians, but then I'm not going to really say it. But then $100 Amazon gift card, Whoever will get the inside joke just get it. But then moving on. Okay, I think Savior got it. You're very smart. <laughs> All right. Okay, so moving on. Uh no, I won't say it though. This is it has to be an inside joke. No. Hallelujah to the dollar. But then let's move on again. That's another <laughs> that's another part of it. But then let's go on. So um thank you so much again, Kay. Moving on to other parts of it. The contest will be announced in full very, very soon. But just okay. keep in mind, participate in the, co the cohort, and there will be sharing, Mr. Wisdom will be sharing the details of the contest and the timeline and everything we would need. But just know that you have to, you have to keep, um, keep yourself, your hand ready. And I would advise you start using the gloves to just get your hands busy with it so you can find out how it works. So you can find out, try to, Okay, if I say too much, I would end up uh, fighting for people to win the money that you will not share with me. So just start using the tool. Start using the tool. That would help you in the contest. Alade Adebayo, do you want to say something? You can unmute your mic and speak. Alade Adebayo, okay. Oh, sorry. That was a mistake. Sorry. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. So before I proceed, actually, I'm going to do something else. So Kay said a lot of things. So I just wanted, I don't want to be the one to recap what he said about GLAPS. So I wanted someone to raise your hand and then just pick a few things. That would also help others that maybe do not catch a thing or a thing or two. I don't want a mentor to do this as well. I want a mentee that was present on this call to tell us what they have heard so far from what Kay said about GLAPS. Emmanuel, okay, that is not raising his hand. So anybody would like to speak about it so far? 
anyone else would like to speak about it help us recap okay so i'll be picking idun omo omo i hope i got your name right you can unmute your mic yes it is actually edun omo bolanle okay thank you you can speak you can speak yeah so um so far we discussed um mr k discussed about um glass discussed how is a social lighting tool and very useful to like store our knowledge and um the important the part i like about it is the fact that we can you know when we are going through a web a website a web content we can actually store whatever it is that we come across we can keep it and come back to it later and stuff like that and again the part of the ai where you can actually ask questions from the ai from things you've stored on it like it's very useful it's just like having just like you said having a clone a digital clone of yourself um online that you can ask questions about and the fact that you can also collaborate with others um what is it called others clone to and ask questions um from their own knowledge and everything so it's actually a very very great tool and um the fact that it also works with chrome works with edge and um what's the other thing again so many things and about the youtube part too as well that you can because yeah sometimes you just want to like go through a youtube video stuff like that you don't want to read because you know this world today you have different things that are doing at a time so the fact that you can get um the what's it called transcript of the video and let the ai summarize it that will also go a long way and you can also come back to it late, come back to the video maybe later on when you have time but at the moment where you need it very urgently you can just uh, summarize it and then work with it so that's what i have to say thank you yeah, yeah. thanks yeah. you thanks. you know summarize, you know, summarize. Thank, you so thank you so much for the summary for the summary yes you're welcome um, okay so i'll give okay, one more so person a chance and i'll proceed save your mba yeah you can speak as well and then we'll move on from this section Okay, hi everyone. Okay, so I think uh well done, Kay, and Ron, hi. So I think um Edson already spoke very well about it, right? But I think one thing that I really like about the product is that it solves the problem of imitation. And in the sense that uh, if you're giving so for undergraduates here who are giving like tasks to to do, or maybe you're pushing a degree or something, right? And you're giving a task to do, say, go go do this fine and all of that right um when you use chat gpt you probably might just have to you probably if with every other person as well use chat gpt you probably um we have the same answers right but with labs right you, you you when you copy the findings from say elon musk copy the findings from mark zuckerberg and every other person as well or even people that you, you have as your mutuals as well as glass right it solves that problem of plagiarism really uh, and, and that's a solid product i think so I mean, everything that was said, they said everything already, but that's a sort of thing I love, the fact that you, imitation is now limited in the world and uh, we have a fresher sense of idea as individuals and people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you. Right, well done, Kay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Savio, as well. Yeah. <laughs> thank yeah, you. Ahead. Yeah, you can go on and, um, Kay, you wanted to add something to that? I had not to add things so severe is opinion, but I think so. Yeah, I can share something so different. So let me share my screen. So to answer, so I forgot to sharing my screen. So when I was answering so tickets questions, so you can interact with other people's so digital clone. So this is Kazuki's clone. So you can ask, you can go to his profile page and ask questions. And so you can see other people's tool, other people's digital tool and interact with anybody on class. And so we are sponsoring so this contest, lighting contest, and we are giving to so one hundred dollars Amazon gift card. But as well as that, so we are going to add so article on our blog post. So it's called Creations by Glass First. So it's like you know creators so featuring graphs or youtube family in their article and we are allocating you know, i mean accumulating so correcting all the articles and this is last years so i don't know how, you know sorry i'm not so france well but on 
muas so archbow is listed on the archbow also we can see so his articles of, that he like he wrote last year and so we are going to so at so the winners article on this you know article again so also we are going to amazon gift card as well so yeah i'm happy i'm looking forward to seeing so plant articles about class yeah that's it Thank you so much for that. So I hope that also answers your questions as well. Thank you again, Ki, for your patience in talking about gloves as well to everyone. I think the end goal of that is just to give everybody a solid understanding of how it works. So you get to benefit from it that so you are not fixing yourself that just because maybe you don't end up winning the Amazon gift card. Gloves is a very, very beneficial to, to technical writing and in any aspect that you find yourself because it preserves the knowledge that we use the digital knowledge that we use so thank you so much um Kay, for that presentation and for your time i'm super super grateful and and I'm, I'm guessing there are no other questions and if there are you will take them to k or linkedin you can ask on the discord channel there's definitely someone with an answer or response as well so we are moving on. So I want us to quickly round this up so we can go on and continue our weekend. So I'm going to share us a bit of the curriculum and a bit of other things that we should expect for the cohort. And after that, I'll take any more questions that we have, and then we can call today's meeting to a close. So some of us do not know, every, every of the accepted mentees for this cohort were 240 so that gives we initially were going to admit 120 mentees but then the mentors and everybody had a a bit of um debate and voting some said 150 some said 120 but we're getting a lot of requests we just had to push and allow more people to join to give others a chance of learning about technical writing. So at the end of the day, we settled and admitted 240 students into cohort three. Like I said earlier, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, like I said earlier, the duration for the cohort is three months. So a couple of things as well. Attendance is weekly, is by weekly basis. We'll have breaking sections, maybe like Monday, Tuesdays, and all of that. We'll have breaking sections, which are mandatory as well, because at the end, those those criteria, those criteria are necessary for you to graduate as a mentee of this program. Okay, and. Um, at, during the course of the program, the first week would we'll also be sharing you into groups. I already mentioned that. So keep in mind, some people will be joining group gold, group silver, group diamond, group emerald. There are, we have about nine to 10 groups and we'll be grouping everybody into groups to work directly with a mentor. And during the group presentation, we'd we'll have a group presentation section as well, where as a group, you get to work together to present the task that will be set before you group by group. But the course of that time, you work with your mentors, you get more information from me. Yeah, from me. <laughs> you get more information from me during the course of the program when we get to that stage. But just keep in mind. And I was also going to encourage that you network amongst yourself. I think when I started tech, that was one of the things that really helped me out. When I know most of us already know Zuri internship, but Zuri was not Zuri then. Zuri was Start NG. So the first time when Zuri started, I started doing, I started, I joined Co-op as well. You know, if you don't even know Zuri, you know HNG. HNG is really, really fast space. If you are offline for two minutes, something will just happen, and then that is how you are out of the whole, the whole thing. So that is why networking and talking and having someone that. Okay, you can reach out to it and reach out to you as well. Really helps you when it comes to 
scaling through digital and social boot camps like this so i encourage us to network network with your mentors network with your fellow mentees just interact answer questions keep the platform busy keep the group busy it's not just for you to just sit and wait for information to be passed and i think the, the there are a section where you could also have random water cooler conversations so just keep the community agile keep the community alive all of these are criteria that helps fellow mentees to know you and help you also know others as well so networking is really really paramount we need it you need it as well so moving on we'll be having assignments also i think in total for the curriculum we are going to be having three assignments and we'll be crowning it off with a capstone project which is going to be intensive i i promise you that no no scare uh, no scam. Uh, I do not intend to scare anyone, but it is going to be really intensive. And as well, the cutoff mark for this cohort is 75%. You guys should thank me for this one specifically, and I'm saying it with good pride because it was supposed to be above that, but then I just had to reduce it because I know we're going to be having working class people as well, and it may really, really, commitments are going to be draining. So having it as a very high range, my reduce the chances for a lot of things. So the cutoff mark is going to be 75%. Once you get that, your certificate and moving forward is assured. So to keep things alive, the social part of the program, we are going to be having quiz sections where every learning group will engage in quiz, we cover the things we've learned, and we'll be getting prizes in different range, financial prizes, and all the kinds of prizes. Sorry? Okay. Sorry, please mute your mic. Uh, oh, please, sorry. Okay, sorry for that interruption. Okay, so we'll be having games as well, the Kahoot games. That will be, you'll be getting more about it. For some of you who already know how to play Kahoot, that's an added advantage. But then we'll be having game sections as well. And one other final thing to note, like we had in the previous cohorts where we had sections where we brought in external speakers, we'll be having that as well. We'll be having, inviting external speakers to come in to speak to us about certain topics things like seo things like how to get a job in technical writing things like freelancing how to prepare your technical writing cv so the program is really really packed i am i'm saying it with all sense of pride we are we we, we hope to give out the best knowledge and pass it forward to others so we'll be having external speakers come in to share us their knowledge. We'll be having other companies come in to liaise with us and share us a couple of beautiful things as well. So I ha we have a curriculum document to be sharing for those of us that are not part of this call and for those of us that, so you just have it at the back of your side to you know schedule yourself well, plan properly as well. I'll be sharing the curriculum document with you maybe after we have been grouped or um, diverse groups. So that is about it. If you have any questions, you can ask now. If not, we can begin to round up today's call and then proceed to ginger ourselves as we prepare towards the next three months of this journey. Any questions, anything you want to ask about the, the, the program, the, the cohort, anything you'd, you'd like to know, we talk about it. You can ask the question now. Okay, while you are raising your hand, I will say something else. So, um, Mr. Wisdom is supposed to be on this call. I know all of us know him, but he had to attend to an emergency today. So that's why you're only hearing my voice today. I was hoping he was going to get the chance to join us, but it seems the the journey the journey is really really demanding so he's not here today it's okay i'm also sorry about that that wisdom was not able to join us on the call so i'm okay. guessing he also reach out to you as well so mm -hmm. subsequently he'll be joining us 
for those of us that may not know him somehow, somehow, Mr. Wisdom Wokocha is the founder of the Technical Writer Mentorship Program. And I think that this doesn't need any introduction. He's really passionate about sharing his knowledge to everyone. He has come to really, really, he's a senior senior when it comes to this technical writing technical writing thing. And so he's he's really passionate about helping Nigerians and we as well come to that space where we also understand API documentation as well. So that is why this program really means a lot to him and to us as well. So in the space of API documentation, Nigerians are not Africans. I'm sorry for that oversight. Africans are not left behind in the knowledge of it. So he's, he's passionate about sharing his technique, his expertise on Twitter, on LinkedIn. And that is why we are running this boot camp and we're progressing to three years. I think you should give us a round of applause. It's not easy to go three years consistently and we're improving. And, and really, really, every year is usually better than the previous one. So that means even as, as uh, a free organizations, we are making progress and we are learning as well. So I'm happy about that. Um, okay, so I have, some mentors on the call as well maybe you can just unmute your mic and say hello i know you'd have a packed time to say a lot of things but if you're a mentor on the call just say hello say your name and then i cannot give the floor for us to ask questions so we can end the call i can see prints i can see roots if you're on the call sure. just say hello oh, just say hello. hello guys i hope you can hear me Yes, we can. Yes, we can. All right. Um, it's Prince again. And um, I want to say welcome. Welcome to cohort three. Um, I was where you were last year and I'm here now. And it's been a very long and beautiful journey. I assure you you're going to have fun and you're going to learn a lot. Thank you so much. Hi, Okay, thank you, Victoria. Yay, our woman, thank you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, good afternoon. Yeah, welcome to call three of the Karate Mentorship Program. Hi, Kay. Um, last day we wrote about GLAPS and it was amazing. So you're welcome to um the program. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a wonderful ride. I encourage us to you know do our assignments and then follow up with classes. Thank you. Thanks. Hello everyone, good afternoon. Um, I'm Ruth, a mentor for the Core 3 Technical Mentorship Program. Okay, welcome everyone to this Core 3. I bet you I bet you, you should just stay, stay put, um, do your assignment diligently, follow up, don't just follow up on, on the assignments, follow up on the activities of the group. Like last year, um, last last cohort, I won something by participating in the in the um activities of the group. Yeah, when we um had quiz, so just follow up, be part of the group, communicate, communicate with your um your fellow mentees. So um you 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 grow this bond with them. So when you're out of this place, you you have a relationship you can look back to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ruth. That was really great. Do we have any other mentor on the call? Okay, you would have your time later, so let's proceed. Cynthia, I think you're raising your hand. Would you like to ask something? Would you like to say something? You can speak. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Good day to everyone. Um, first of all, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, I've looked forward to be in one of these um, cohorts and I'm, I'm glad i'm here looking forward to getting to the end of this so my question is just i just wanted to ask how often are we going to be having these classes that's just basically all i want to know thank you um okay so usually our class sections are weekends so friday saturday sunday so we have we have um, a different topic mostly every week. And so so depending on the mentor, depending on the speaker, 
we may have the class either Friday or either Sunday. But it is usually around 8 p.m. West African time zone. It's usually around 8 p.m. So everyone, if you have if you had gone to work, at least by that time you are settled in, you are relaxed. But then regardless, we we would um also always have classes recorded. So you can always catch up the, the recording on YouTube and the links will be shared in the group chat. But then our classes, the classes will usually run Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. And though, but then we may have breaking sections or that's within your group and your mentors, you would agree on the day that would work. Like during the week, maybe by Wednesday or by Thursday, you would have your breaking sections. This one is personal. It's I within your group. Yeah, personal within your group. So it could either be Wednesday, it could either be Thursday. Um, you would have your section with your mentee, that breaking section. You guys get to share in your progress. If you're having assignment challenges, if you're having a resource challenges, at that section, you talk about it and you talk about how to move your group forward. And I'm not going to say this, I'm not supposed to share this, but there is going to be a price for the best group for the cohort. So when you are shared into a group, try your hardest to make sure your group, you know, be the, take, be the one to take the lead because it is and um and um, um healthy con healthy competition really really helps growth and so we tried it last year it was good but we want to do a lot more of that this year with teamwork so we're going to be working well with healthy competition that is going to come with the group work so you are going to work with your group members like your cohorts life depends on it so i encourage you as an inside joke to the mentors, we are not planning to win or drag which group wins it to. But just know that, yes, there is something like this on the ground. So you need to work well with your mentor, work well with your mentor to ensure that because if, you're, if your group wins, your mentor takes, you take the credit, not even your mentor. But then the mentors are trying already dragging behind the scenes that they are the ones that are going to take the best group for the season. So we really are encouraging you to work with your mentor and try your hardest. Weekend is our time for classes. So do we have any other questions? Any other questions, any other contribution, something you'd like addressed or anything? Are we saying we understood everything and we don't have any single challenge? Promise, yes, you can unmute your mic and speak. All right, good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, we good can. Morning. Yeah. All right. Um, let um, Asamta ask a question, and I think that should be clarified before moving on. And probably it could be of help to um, others. <coughs> Sorry. So um, I think he said, um, last question, yeah, will it be able to qualify for a technical writing? I didn't have the course. Now, technical writing is a skill. So you need, um, you need to have a technical knowledge about something before even thinking of like writing about it. So as um, you need to probably get to know what are you current, what knowledge you have so that you can be able to navigate to towards what you're writing because if you don't have any technical because it's technical writing so you need to have technical knowledge about something so know what you want and then we can pick it up from there so i think that's what and then for the classes what will happen if someone skip a class because we might not be in the same um um time zone so i might be because from what you're saying, by nine, um, I might not be um, available, like slightly available, depending on my nature of work. So I don't know what will happen if someone skip a class. Okay, so you have a. I think we you we were giving like the previous cohort would give two to three chances, two to three chances for you to skip a class section. But then take into account that it is your attendance. So if you don't mark your attendance, that also reduces your cutoff mark, your cutoff mark for the cohorts. 
at the end of the day you just you just have to really really adjust because we, we all know it's three months and it's going to be packed so you just really need to try to adjust yourself your schedules to work with it and that's why we're trying we're trying so much to reduce the time take it really to close up the end of the day so we can have a lot more participation but then you can you have to three times to skip a class but then after that of course even the two to three times affect your attendance so you just have to do three times if not we already tried to talk something about okay we draw from the program just so we can know who we are focused on working with because we see sometimes where people have genuine reasons for missing the class sessions but sometimes others try to take advantage of it and that affects the team so you have two to three chances for missing the class sessions but then after that there's little to nothing we can really do about it but then if you miss a section you can catch up on youtube of course but then one thing i want to put out there is if you are missing a class section your mentors should be on the know and then you don't just send a message five minutes to a class to say i won't be joining i won't be joining that is really inappropriate communication should be done prior like you should really communicate because something we really struggle with is after an announcement has been made so was maybe a few minutes to the deadline we're not having people come in to say i was away i was away i was away that is really really tacky and that is really really improper and we personally would not really take a lot of that this year so things anything that is worth doing well there's a, a, a proverb that said anything worth doing is worth doing well so we want to see that from you we are bringing that the best of that from our own Part we're trying to give out the best, so we want to see mentees as well giving their best. Do the best you can. Try to adjust yourself. You make sure that you that is your only result before just coming. You don't just throw in the towel and you don't just give up because it starts to get stressful. So at least when we see that, it's easier for us to work with you as well with any issues that you may have. And then just to comment also on what promise the statement he made earlier. And I'm I'm sure we are there are nobody here without the basic knowledge of what they already do. Technical knowledge is technical for a for a reason. You are coming to learn writing for the technical skills that you have. So, but then there's no need to dwell on that so much. When we have our first class sections, the the mentor for that section will be diving in deep, talking a lot about that when we talk about our introduction to technical writing. So we don't need to dwell a lot on that. So do I have, so thank you, Promise, for that. Do we have any other question, any other contribution? Any question, any contribution? Why we are waiting for someone else to do that? I hope we have all posted, we are like 98, 107 on this call. So I hope you're already posting on your Twitter and LinkedIn platform, onboarding. This now brings me to this thing I was also going to say. I shared earlier that this is a free thing and we all know nobody on this cohort right now paid to get into this boot camp. So it is free. But then what we need as payment is your participation and your commitment. And then the other important thing we need is your presence and your shout on social media. We stressed it a lot last year and we're going to be stressing it a lot this year. When we have a lot of you talking about the program online, you give us reach, you give us presence, and that is as much um, payment that we can get. So everything we do, we want you to always share them on social media. And as much as this is going to be helping us in the cohort, it helps you as well. People get to know that, okay, you are learning this. People get to know that, okay, you are learning technical writing. When opportunities come, friends will tag you. When opportunities come, subject matter experts already know that okay there is this learner this is your journey they have been talking about this for a while so when you come out and say you're a technical writer it doesn't seem like you are you are trying to you're trying to say who you're not like you already have receipts online to show that this is where your journey began you have always been in this space so that really really helps you and i'm saying it from experience it has helped me so we really really want you it is a criteria it is a very serious criteria as well social media your communication on social media everybody got in here through twitter or linkedin so that means you have an account on social media and we need that 
we need that aspect of you giving back to the community, giving back to the mentors and the organizer. Mr. Wisdom needs it as well. When you talk about the community, you are paying us back in one form or the other. So try to post on social media, try to share your journey, try to share what you learn on weekly basis, on daily basis, as much as you can pace yourself. And that will really, really help us all going forward. Any question, any other contribution? Any question, any other contribution? Do we have questions in this section in the on the chat box? Um, okay, I see the difference between blog and technical writing. Okay, promise, thank you for that answer. Do you have any more questions about the cohorts or we are okay to call this meeting to a close? Um, are we here? Are we still here? My dog is already making noise. Are you guys here? Okay. So, would anybody like to say anything else? A mentor, would you like to say anything else or a mentee as well? Hey, do you have anything else to say? Yes, Amaka, the recording link will be shared. I think it's already on LinkedIn as well. But yeah, it will be shared. And share the link with me as well. Thanks. All right, then. Thank you so much. So, and yeah, so I, I don't have anything to add, but thank you for joining. And so, sounds like so this cohort, cohort lighting cohort is very good to be uh, like lighting lighters. So, I hope class helps you. And so, yeah, and so if I need it, so I can show the present presentation like this again. And so, let's keep in touch on LinkedIn, on Twitter. And so, yeah, I hope that everyone so can get better lighting skill through this course. Thank you so much, Kay. Thank you so much. Do we have any more contribution? Anyone else to say something? Kay, are you still speaking? No. OK, all right. <laughs> OK, so are we still, do we have anyone else? Um, in the absence of none, this meeting comes to an end now. Thank you so much, guys, for joining, for your contributions. Um, Toba, Savior, Promise, Cynthia, um, I, I hope I got that name right. Peace. Thank you guys so much for contributing. Victoria, uh, Prince, Al Ad Ru Al Adibayo. Call Adibayo too. Al Adibayo. Al Adibayo. Call him. Al Adibayo as well. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much, guys. Thank you so much <laughs> for joining today's call. See you guys in the cohort. Have an amazing weekend as well. Bye bye. Okay, bye. Bye bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. The last person to leave the call buys everyone a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's yeah, in the call. Bye, bye, Kay. Thank you so much. I'll reach out to you, you as well. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>